What is going on everybody, it's Matthew, your local bro, hope you guys are doing good. So today we are going to try out different kind of American snacks. We have some sour patches here, we have pop tarts, we have Arizona iced tea, we have Coke vanilla cherry, we have Ca Canada, Canada, Canada dry soda ginger, gingembre, soda gingembre, we have Reese's not rages, looks kind of like Snickers, uh, we have Fanta berry, we have some Dr. Pepper cherry vanilla in here. We have some macaroni and cheese from Annie's. And we do have some Butterfingers. I'm going to be honest with you guys, some of these things I have never seen in my entire life. For instance, Pop-Tarts, I have no clue what this is. I have never had it in my entire life. I have perhaps seen it on some TV shows, but I never had it, so it's going to be super interesting. Same goes with macaroni and cheese. You guys seem to worship this stuff. You say it's like the best thing you can have. And of course, I am pretty sure this, this might not be the best brand, but still, it's macaroni and cheese. It was on the American shelf, so I got it for you guys. So we can just try it out see how it tastes if you guys want more videos like this in the future make sure to leave a like down below for your local bro without further ado guys let's dive right into the snack so we're going to start up with the arizona iced tea a brooklyn original cherry juicy ricky sparkling cherry lime 23.5 ounces i think at 695 milliliters Quite a big can, bro. Do you guys just walk around drinking these casually? Let's see if it holds up. Guys, you already know the importance of a good crack while opening that can. You really want the splashy sound like this. I smell. Very, very, very fruity smell. Very fruity. It smells like lime, strawberry. Yeah, something like that, bro. Very, very fruity. All right, let's try it. Oh, that's sweet. That's really sweet. Mm. Bro, that's so good. This is so good. Oh my God. This is one of the best beverages I had. This is so good for the summer. Mm. Oh my God, bro. This, without a dub, solid, solid nine. Solid nine, bro. Could have been a bit more sparkly. I don't know if it's supposed to be that, but this is a solid nine, guys. Very good. Arizona, Sherry, Juicy, Ricky, Sparkling, Sherry, Lime, bro. Solid nine out of ten. Next up, we have the Fanta Berry. A bit smaller can this time. Uh, not that big, I think. I mean, like, size doesn't matter, right, guys? It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but uh, it, it's about the motion of the ocean. Looks great. Uh, solid blue color on this can. Let's pop it. Let's pop it and see what it goes for. Bro, we are on fire today with the cracking game. <sighs> Smells like toilet cleaning. You know, the stuff that you pour into your toilet when you're about to clean it. Very artificial. A bit of blueberries. Let's see if it holds up. Mm. Not that not that tasteful. It it's kind of tastes like water. Uh, like it's what's mixed out with water. Like 50% are just like blend. Uh, but I mean like it's okay. It's a bit it's a bit fresh. I could see this go a good way uh, I could see this go a long way at like a frat party, you know if you mix it up uh, Perhaps like during the spring break or something like that, you know the spring vacation We have it here as well it would be a very good spring drink in college mm, Other than that, I wouldn't pick this. Okay. I give it a 4 out of 10. So Fanta Berry 4 out of 10 Next up we have the Canada Dry Ginger Ale Wow, this is going to be interesting for sure. I never had ginger ale in my entire life. Also, since it says Canada Dry, I don't know if this is American actually. I don't know if we're going to count it, but I mean like it's it's North American nevertheless. Let's see if Canada can deliver. Let's go. Wow, that's a very interesting smell. It smells like toothpaste and pepper. Something like that, bro. It's a it's a kind of it's a kind of weird smell. Um like nothing, maybe like gin and tonic, something like that. But 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 also also quite not like gin and tonic. I don't know. Let's see. Like Sprite, it it really does taste like Sprite, Sprite Seven Up, that kind of stuff. But like a bit more spicy. Mm. 
it's okay. Uh, I could I could see myself grabbing one of these instead of a sprite during the summer. I could I could really see myself grabbing one of these like at the at the beach or like at the pool outside walking when it's really warm. I think it's a very good drink when it's warm outside. I don't think I would have it to like snacks or food. It would be like more of a refreshing drink if it's really really hot outside. Uh, I'm going to give Canada Dry a solid 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for Canada Dry. Next up, we have Dr. Pepper Sherry Vanilla. So, I never had vanilla soda and I never had a sherry soda. So, this is going to be something completely new. I never had any of these flavors before, so it's going to be very interesting to see how it holds up. Let's go. Okay, okay, th th this, is, this is something really different. This is... Uh, this is licorice and vanilla and berries and that's a very, very strange smell. It's super strange. Let's see. Oh my God. That's, that's a lot of flavor. Okay. Uh, you can, we can really feel the sherry in there. You can feel the vanilla and for some reason it kind of works. It, it kind of works. I'm not super disappointed. I, th I think this actually holds up quite okay. Mm. It really shouldn't, but it kind of does. It re it really shouldn't hold up whatsoever, but it it kind of works. For some odd reason, this is this is actually quite okay. Uh, my God, this is like you know. You know when you are super drunk and you're going to get some late night snack? You have your local 24-7 open restaurant where usually you can buy, you know, some of these soggy baguettes or sandwiches and during daytime you would never touch them. But when you are drunk and you buy one of these, they taste kind of, they, they taste kind of good, you know. They taste kind of good, you kind of like it. That's this kind of stuff, you know. I really don't want to like it, but for some reason I kind of do. I'm going to give Dr. Pepper Sherry Vanilla a solid 7 as well. Bro, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Solid 7 out of 10 for Dr. Pepper's Sherry Vanilla. Next up, we have another Sherry Vanilla. We have Coca-Cola Sherry Vanilla flavored Coke and other natural flavors. Interesting for sure. Uh, Sherry Vanilla. Let's see if it holds up and let's see if we can beat Dr. Pepper. Okay, this smell is a... This smell is... Okay, so this smell... Okay, so this smell is very different compared to the Dr. Pepper one because it's way more fruity. It feels like they, they put in like at least 20-30% more sherry into this. Super fruity, you can't even you can't even scent the vanilla from the smell. It's like no flavor whatsoever, bro. This actually tastes like water. This is like water with a bit like it smelled so much but the taste is gone complete opposite to dr pepper dr pepper was like a bit medium smell but it was a lot of taste this is a very bland boring taste um i don't think it's worth the bucks i would in any day whatsoever if i were going for a sherry vanilla soda i would go with the dr pepper one any day any day whatsoever any day i'm going to give coca-cola sherry vanilla a solid four out of ten four out of ten for coca-cola sherry vanilla now on to american candy we have sour patch so this is some kind of sour candy uh looking like teddy bears or something like that sour patch kids cola is the flavor sour then sweet uh, I'm a big fan of sour candy, so this is going to be very interesting to see how this holds up. Without further ado, let's try it. It really looks like small teddy bears. It's good. It's very good, actually. It's, it's a bit sour than sweet, as said on the package, but still. It's very soft. It's a bit like gummy, but also a bit soft. It's not like hard to chew at all, bro. The chewing is super easy. Easiest chewing of my life. Uh, the taste, I think, is kind of good. It doesn't really taste too artificial. It's, I think it's a solid cola candy. I could easily go for these bad boys as a snack. Uh, I'm going to give the Sour Patch Kid Cola. Um, it's a solid 7.5 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10 for Sour Patch Kids Cola. Next up, we have the Reese's Nut Rages. This is a milk chocolate, peanuts, peanut butter, and caramel chocolate bar. Bro, bro, sounds massive for sure. Pretty much everything that I like in a candy bar. Let's see how it holds up. Look at this pattern. Very chunky, big pieces of peanut, I would guess. Uh, let's see how it holds up. Bro, 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 do you 
This tastes so freaking good. This is like the best chocolate peanut butter candy stuff I've ever had. Not rageous, it's just the start of how good this is. No more information. Reese's, not rageous, no debate, 10 out of 10. All right, bros, next up we have the Butterfinger, which is a crispity, crunchy peanut buttery. Let's see how it holds up. Oh, damn, it broke in the package. All right, so look at it. This is a way smoother bar than the Reese's. Let's see how good it is. It tastes like butter and crisp. I would say it's okay. Uh, it's decent. It's a basic crispy chocolate bar. It's a bit boring though. It doesn't really taste a lot of chocolate. It's more like just crispy and yeah, that's it. Crispy and a bit sweet, a little, little bit caramelly. I would give it a solid 5 out of 10. Solid 5 out of 10 for the Butterfingers. Have you guys ever seen something as beautiful as this mac and cheese? As I made it, I want to call it mac and cheese. Bro, look at how creamy this is. It's creamy, it's moist, it's warm, it's thick. It's everything you want. It's everything you want out of life. First time ever, mac and cheese. Let's go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, guys. This is actually fire. Bro, this is... It's hilarious how much I have been mocking this food throughout the years. Now when I finally have it, bro, this is creamy. It has a lot of flavor. I can't believe this is like made out of just... I can't believe this was just cheese powder with some pasta, bro. This is amazing. Bro, this is good. And I, and I just, I can just imagine this. This gotta be like one of the worst brands as well because it was very cheap and it's just fully fabricated. I believe if I were to make real mac and cheese with like real cheese, uh, milk and stuff, it's going to be even better. Uh, but I'm going to give this a solid 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10 for mac and cheese. All right, guys, last, but hopefully not least, we have Pop-Tarts with a flavor of frosted s'mores. One of these bad boys. I've heard so much about Pop-Tarts, bro. Whenever you watch a TV series, they're always Pop-Tarts, bro. This, this might be the most hyped up American snack for someone living outside of the USA. Let's see if it holds up. It's good. It's a lot of bread. It tastes a lot of dough, like bread dough, not cookie dough, bread dough. But I kind of like it, bro. I kind of like it. It's not as good as mac and cheese, but it's great. It's sweet and it's a bit thick. It's sweet, thick. I think it's great, bro. Also, I slightly undercooked it, I think. Uh, it's still a bit dry in here. I think it's supposed to be a little bit more melted. But I'm going to go with a solid 7 out of 10 for Pop-Tarts, bro. Solid 7 out of 10 for Pop-Tarts. Ooh, that was everything for today's video guys thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like down below and don't forget to subscribe to almost out on any more videos comment down below what you guys want to see in the future and if this video can get 30 likes we're going to do a part two that was everything for today guys until next time